Logistics over the past couple of years has become a really interesting sector within commercial real estate. Traditionally, logistics has constituted only about eight to nine percent of commercial property. What's changed is it's become very attractive from an investor standpoint and from an occupier standpoint as well. A lot of this is driven by e-commerce. E-commerce on average requires about three times more logistics space for a given volume of sales as opposed to retail. Traditionally, warehouses have been built on the edges of major urban areas. A large part of the reason for that is that that's where the land was. As we move more towards an environment where people expect things to be delivered on a real-time basis, we see an increased demand for last mile logistics facilities. So one thing I think that COVID taught communities and cities and real estate investors and developers around the world is that really logistics facilities are just as much of a part of the critical infrastructure of a city as a tram system, a mobile phone network, a sewer system, et cetera. So I think there's a really an increased appreciation that logistics facilities are an essential part of how a city has to operate. And from the standpoint of Heinz, uh, this is really exciting for us because this is what we've been doing since 1957. We've been working with cities and communities throughout the world to design place-making, fantastic places for people to live. Now, there's an opportunity for us to integrate logistics facilities into the built urban environment, probably in a way that not a lot of other investors can do and have the experience and track record to do. As one example, there's a project that we're working on now in Madrid. We have acquired an older office building just adjacent to the airport in Madrid. We'll redevelop this as one of the leading logistics sites in the Madrid area. One thing that we value at Heinz, in addition to the environmental side of ESG is the social side. And so we see opportunities to actually work in warehouses for people in communities in which these warehouses are located. You think about going to a warehouse where it used to be you just move boxes around and perhaps with a forklift, now that same person might need to take two classes in computer science and understand how to program or mechanical engineering to know how to fix the, the robotic system. And these are really high value transferable skills that can take that person further on in life. Heinz has always been present in European logistics, including what we have acquired on behalf of our investors, buildings that we have developed and are in the process of developing. The total volume of that is about 4.3 million square meters. This number is twice what it was 12 to 18 months ago. We've accomplished a lot in the last 12 to 24 months. I can't help but to feel we're just getting started.